As anti-government protests continue to disrupt Bangkok, animosity between pro and anti-government supporters is growing fast. The underlying anger fueled by public displays of hate-mongering has some observers worried that widespread violence could erupt within the country. The conflict is attributed by some to a split between the rural poor and elite urbanites, but some analysts say it is cutting much deeper into Thailand's social fabric. Human Rights Watch senior researcher Sunai Pasuk warns that a deep-rooted hatred is spreading through communities across the country. As the conflicts go on, confrontation escalate, we see this uh, division has entered into household, families are split, and friends do not talk to each other anymore, but instead see each other as enemies who could no longer coexist. This is a very radical development in the, in the political confrontation in Thailand. And if allowed to continue, it is a very dangerous ingredient for large-scale communal conflict. In the northern Thai village of Ban Me, allegations of government corruption have created a rift within some families. Farmer Duan Gien Kawana switched political allegiance after the government failed to make payments on a controversial price support program for rice farmers. Now he's a loyal viewer of Blue Sky TV, a popular news network that broadcasts anti-government programming all day and night. The first time the government pledged for 15,000 baht per ton for the rice price, but in the end they didn't keep their word. We haven't received any money from this program yet. Across the yard, his son-in-law, Sarin Plukham, remains a staunch government supporter. But Sarin admits growing weary of the political conflict that has split his family. He fears it could escalate into full-scale violence. We don't talk about politics with each other. If while we talk, the subject comes up, we try to switch to something else. We talk a bit, but if we think it'll lead to an argument, we just stop talking altogether. For now, the power struggle within the country is more a war of words, but it's unclear whether the anger it is generating can be switched off if things get worse. Steve Sanford reporting for VOA News from Chiang Mai, Thailand.